Welcome to the You Can Be Unstoppable podcast. My name is Ewelina Szczoblewska, your host and certified hypnotherapist. In this podcast, I will share with you how to tap into the power of your subconscious mind. I intend to share with you how learning how to use the power of your subconscious mind can help you to create successful an abundant life with ease, how to connect with yourself while fostering a healthy relationship with your body and mind. Tapping into the power of the subconscious mind will help you to learn how to manage your emotions, become more resilient and present in all of your relationships. Self-love and self-worth are the keys to the kingdom of success and abundance, to happy and healthy life on your terms. Hello, hello, hello. How lovely to see you, hear you again and have you here listening to my podcast. And Happy New Year 2023. I hope that you had a wonderful Christmas, New Year's Eve, so family and friends and celebrated because I don't know about you, but the last two or three year, years were challenging and that they were challenging for many different reasons. So I hope that you had a great time and you are ready to kickstart and set yourself up for success, abundance, love, whatever that is that you want to attract and create in 2023. And oh my God, I cannot believe that is 2023. It sounds like 2005 when I left Poland was only yesterday. So happy new year. And my aim for this episode is to talk about setting goals and what is that you want to achieve because you know new year's eve start for the fresh new year and everyone talks about setting goals for the year and what is that you want to achieve and i don't know about you but i've set up goals before in the past many times and quite often i haven't actually achieved many of them because how many times have you set something up and you said at the beginning of the year that you're going to go to the gym, that you're going to prospect, that you're going to leave your current job because you absolutely hate it, that you're going to move on from your relationship because it doesn't serve you anymore, and you've outgrown each other or you've moved into different directions. Your business is not where you want it to be, so you thought about you know, doing X, Y, and Z into your business only to find yourself a week, two weeks later, at the end of January, maybe at best March, those goals are nowhere to be seen. You're not doing what you said that you're going to do and you're not following through. Maybe your priorities have changed, so the goals kind of failed away and no longer are relevant. But the problem of all of this, we kind of set ourselves up for failure and we perpetuate that feeling perhaps we feel not good enough because you know we've set up those goals and we haven't achieved them yet again maybe perpetuate the feeling of like well I'm just maybe not worthy for the success because clearly if I was or I had the skills and capabilities and things that a successful person has or is was well, just not me because I can't kind of seems to be doing it or achieve it and I know I, I have been there before, and I'm sure, I suspect, I'm having an educated guess, that many of you have been as well. But what I have learned, and my question to you is, perhaps on an identity level, you are not the kind of person yet to have what you set up yourself to have maybe you have an underlying beliefs that are getting in your way and what I mean by that 
that on an identity level, the subconscious level, we all have a map of the world. And if I can use a computer analogy, we have a um, operating system a program of how we see ourselves in a world and how we see the world and our possibilities in terms of how to achieve things. And that all comes from early years because we all, every single one of us, have been in that we kind of indoctrinated, we, you know, observed our parents and the environment and we've learned how to be. So if you haven't addressed any of those, then that could be, you know, potentially getting in your way or even something deeper like a trauma. But even putting this aside, I don't think goals are necessarily the thing because who says that A goal setting has to happen only at the beginning of the year, which actually wasn't even the 1st of January because if I remember correctly, way in the past, it was 25th of March, a beginning of year, which completely makes sense because it lands with spring when everything comes to life and flourishes and grows and comes back to life, where now we set up goals in the middle of the winter. So, putting goals aside, how about if we change how we perceive setting up goals, how we go about them, and set intentions instead? And not only at the beginning of January or at the beginning of the year, but actually on a goal as we go throughout the year, set intentions because as we go through the year, our, our priorities may change, we've achieved certain goals. So rather than setting up goals where we kind of already indicate to our subconscious mind that we haven't achieved this yet, set intentions and say that I intend to have a wonderful day today, joyful, happy day, and use this as a confirmation that you can be the way you want to be and have what you want and achieve what you want. And you can practice this daily rather than set those massive goals that often are overwhelming and we kind of set ourselves up for failure from the word go. So how about we adapt this and set intentions as we go throughout the year and adapt it as it needs to be adapted and just intend how do you want to be and feel and what you want to achieve? And assume, and as you do that, when you set your intention, assume that those intentions already are yours. You've already achieved it because it's really important to really emotionally gel with your intentions. Imply that already yours is just a matter of allowing to come into your Live and it's a different energy behind it and as as we as you know as I know and I'm sure you agree with me or what I'm saying I'm sure maybe you don't uh, we are energetic beings and when we place that energy of it's already ours behind an intention it's a very different energy when we set up a goal and we're like oh my god this is just so huge overwhelming how we I even go about starting this. And where we place our attention, our energy, our thoughts is where our vital force goes. And this is what we create. This is what we attract. And it's also very important to allow for it to come because if we struggle with allowing for the things to come, if we struggle to receive even the simple things as a compliment, then you may have a problem with allowing that intention, the thing that you set yourself up to have, to come into your life. So I hope that makes sense and I kind of give you a slightly different perspective that maybe we just need to change our perspective of how we set up those goals, those intentions, and have a different energy about them make them small and manageable and as you go because when you set daily intentions you can prove to yourself that you can do it and by the way 
I have three places for one-on-one -on -one clients in January. So if you are struggling with confidently showing up in your career or in your business, even if it's just in certain places, but it's getting in your way of getting those clients, putting yourself out there and you ending up self-sabotaging yourself, but not following on your clients' connections, on your calls, on reaching out, on building your career or whatever that is, and you add to this a little bit of people-pleasing and struggling with self-worth, maybe you struggling to show up for yourself confidently, this like nagging feeling that you need to overcompensate, over-deliver to deserve that success, then this is for you. So there is a link to book a consultation with me in the description. And I am looking forward supporting you during your transformational journey. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see you. And till next week. Thank you for listening. If you found value in this podcast, I would like to ask you to leave a positive review explaining how this episode helped you to improve your life. I ask you to do this because this will help all the people to improve their lives as well. Share and spread the love all around you. Raise your vibrations to improve your life. If you would like more transformational content like this, connect with me on Instagram. You can find a link in the description of this podcast and I'll see you over in the next episode.